Hey everybody, it's me, and today is fine, I'll do it Friday. And as you can see, I have dishes to be done. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna be listening to my podcast, so there will be music over this one. I know some people don't really like the, like, the music over the, the productivity, I guess, but um, I don't have, like, the rights to share this podcast with other people. Um, and my headphones are not charged, which means that this is, this is it, this is how I'm gonna do it. So, if you don't like it, feel free to skip. Sorry about that. Um, as you can hear, there are birds living in a tree right outside my window, and my cats are enraptured, um, which is really nice to see. We just went outside and ran around, and it was very cute, and I will share some pictures of that before we begin, just to kind of give you a little serotonin boost, uh, a meow-based serotonin boost. Today's one of those, uh, uncannily hot days. Um, so I am currently wearing a tank top, like a nice breezy tank top that's uh, pretty pretty holy. Um, and then I am wearing some shorts, uh, which are my swim trunks because one of the other things I need to do today is my laundry because all of my shorts are in, I say all of my shorts, all of my like two pairs of shorts are in the dirty laundry hamper thing. So. Yeah, happy uh, vlogoween, by the way. I think it's going pretty okay. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time. I'll see you kind of at the end. Oh, for those of you who were on one of the other Fine I'll Do It Fridays, I don't know if you can see here, I did put up the curtain. Um, I wound up making it with magnets just because I don't want my landlord to get mad. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's just with magnets for now. I'm gonna figure out another method later, but the magnets seem to work just fine for me. Um, and then I've got all of my various tea accoutrements behind there, as well as a toaster and my butcher block, just cause, like my knives, you know what I mean? Um, cause why, why wouldn't I? Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna clear out the clutter from this side of the kitchen, which is just all of these things. I received some Halloween gifts from a friend, which are hand washed. These guys are gonna get washed by hand and they will actually live uh, probably in the trailer when I'm traveling and in my room when I'm not. Anyway, that's my rant, that's my ramble. Uh, wow, it's already been three minutes of intro. That is annoying. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna get started. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps you accomplish whatever it is you're trying to do. Thank you. 
All right, so as you can hear, the dishwasher is going, and I have cleaned off my counter. Oh, here, there you go. The counter is now as clean as it's gonna get today. <laughs> There's some food and some unused Tupperware over there. But, um, I've got these things drying over here, and these things washing and soon to be drying here. I'll turn the camera back on when it's time to put the dishes away. I'm gonna sit down, turn my laptop on, and try to knock out some work. So I will talk to you what will feel like uh, in a second for you, but for me it'll probably be about two hours. True to form, I went and got on my computer and got to work and got sucked into the work and now it is almost 11 o'clock at night. Whoops. Um, so here is me in my pajamas with my long socks um, and as you can see it is dark outside but against my internal inertia to just stay seated and continue staring into the screen and um, achieving little dopamine points and like not moving I returned for the video because that is the true purpose of this assignment well not this assignment well kind of assignment that's the purpose of this whole project of the like final do it Friday project thing thing is that I feel like I have a responsibility and I feel like I also have body doubling and I made a commitment by saying that I would come back and put the things away when they were done and while it has been well over two hours since I started that and said peace out um, or BRB I guess um, I came back. So here I am and now I'm going to put these things away um, but before I do that, I just, I want to see if I can show you my adorable cat being sleepy in her favorite spot. Ever since we rearranged this stuff, she's loved to just nap by the garden. It makes her so happy. All right. Last leg of this journey, let's get it done. Let's do it. Oh, I don't want to. But I'm doing it, that's the important part. the reorganization of the kitchen, I have yet to figure out where I want to put my Tupperware. So for now, it's going to go on the table. It's not me being lazy, it's just me not wanting to jump into another reorganization project when I'm technically supposed to be in bed by now.
one last bit of trivia before I go. Um, is everything perfectly stowed? No, I still gotta get those guys into the trailer or my room. I'll figure it out. But this mug right here, super cute, right? I actually got it on my space camp field trip last year, which is called Astrogeology for Educators, and it is hosted by Dr. Kirby Runyon and Dr. Wagner, Mark Wagner specifically, and these guys are super cool. It's not just for educators, it's also for enthusiasts. You get to go and explore um, Spaceport America, Virgin Galactic, do like a full tour of the place, super cool. Get to see VSS Unity, get to ask all your science and space-based questions, engineering questions, um, and then also go and visit a museum and visit some really cool like geological formations that are analogous to places on the moon or Mars or Titan, for example. Um, super cool. Super interesting, definitely like piqued my interest enough to confirm that that is what I want to you know go to grad school for. Um, so if you have the opportunity, take it. Like as an educator, what's really cool is that you get a lot of really awesome tools and inspiration for your curriculum and for building space and interactive space education in your curriculum. And for enthusiasts like myself and students, um, homie, you just you get the experience of a lifetime. I would not trade that experience uh, that I got to have last year for anything, really. It was amazing. So I'm going to put this last piece away, and then I'm going to try to go to bed. I will probably work on one more last piece of this project that I've been kind of a little bit hyper fixated on, um, and I'll try to get to sleep by 1 a.m. Tomorrow is going to be a long day. My Pilates class got cancelled, which is, you know, one less thing to do. Hey, pretty girl. Yeah. Nope, completely lost my train of thought on that one. Got distracted by the cat, lost my train of thought. Tomorrow, right, my Pilates class got cancelled. And so it's one less thing, but I do have improv class, which I'm really excited about and the beginning and middle of the day are going to just be filming. Um, I've got some custom content to shoot and some Halloween content to shoot, and hopefully I can get my way through all of it before it is time to hop on over to improv. So, wish me luck, wish me rest. I hope that you were able to achieve everything you set out to achieve today, and even if you didn't, even if you just took like a few steps in the direction that you're trying to go, that means a lot. That's like super important and um, I'm proud of you, I'm excited for you, and I will see you next time on Fine, I'll Do It Friday. Yeah? Oh, I love you so much. You're such a good girl.